Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode I'm going to show you how to go from boring light to amazing light in Photoshop. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli, I am a French photographer from the amazing, the beautiful city of Paris, France, but I live in Los Angeles, California and I make one to two tutorials per week. Click the subscribe button if you want to receive these free tutorials weekly and you're going to need the source file for this one so you can click up here and get all the source files to be able to follow along. All right, I'm going to show you in this episode how you can take this photo and turn it into this photo. The whole idea is to go from boring light to amazing light. But not only that, I'm going to give you all the raw files, all the skies and other raw files and other skies so you can not only do this photo at home but you can do some other ones. And then I'm going to show you how you can post it on Instagram so that I can see it. I'm going to pick a winner and the winner I'm going to showcase in my newsletter and in my social media to over 100,000 persons. So it's a great way to have fun and get exposure. So follow me and let me show you how we do this. All right, mesdames and messieurs. So to get the files to play around with what we're going to be doing, uh, below the video you're watching right now on YouTube, there is a link that says to get my source file, sign up at. If you click on this, which I'm just doing now, you're going to come to this page. It's going to ask you uh, basically to create an account, which is a free account. You're going to get a daily newsletter in exchange. Uh, I do one newsletter per day. And once you've created your account, you can click here to download the source files. Once you have downloaded the source files, you're going to get all these files. So it's going to be one, two, three skies, and it's going to be one panorama, which is the one I'm going to give you an example of. And I'm going to give you also two other photos. Actually, this one is a result of the panorama. Two other photos to play around with. And I'm going to make a game with you. I'm going to show you how you can completely recreate the light of a photo. Then I'm going to give you some really high quality raw files from this village. What I'm showing to you now, I'm going to give you the sky. I'm going to show you how to do it. And uh, so you can try for yourself at home and you can post the result on Instagram. And the one who uh, makes the better uh, composition, the better light, uh, I will show his website, the result photo uh, on my newsletter and on all my social media. You can potentially reach 100,000 people. So uh, there we go. So this is how we start. So I'm going to start with this two photo. Um, and, you know, I could do the other ones, but I'm going to start with this one. Saint Paul de Vence 1 and 2. It's actually a pano. So I'm going to select this photo. I am in Bridge right now. Uh, if you don't know how to launch Bridge, you can go just to Photoshop and you can go to uh, File, Browns in Bridge. Okay, this is like a Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to right click in Bridge, open in Camera Row. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to make my pano. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go Select All. And I'm going to go here again, that little, you know, that little. Uh, menu that's not very visible. Merge to panorama. Okay, when, once I'm here, I got different projections, meaning different ways of doing the panorama. Uh, I'm going to select the cylindrical and I'm going to use the boundary wrap. The boundary wrap is really cool because you can make your, you see, all this empty space kind of wrap around it. Now, the problem when we do that is we're going to have some distortion here to take care of later on. But I've already done it, so I'm going to cancel this out. And here is the result. It's here, actually. Let me reset. Uh, you see, I did some correction with it. And if you have a raw file that you have corrections on that you want to reset, you just go to Develop Setting and Clear Settings. So that's the final panel. That's what I got by doing this little manipulation. So I'm going to double click on it. It is a panel, so it's going to open up in Camera Row. And now I'm ready to do some retouching. Uh, so first thing first, I'm going to go, uh, we have some problems here, but I will correct this at the end. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the shadows. Uh, I'm going to maybe do some white, do some black. Uh, I, the sky is really boring. And, you know, the thing is I wanted these lights to turn on. And I couldn't wait because I was in some restaurant with my friends. I was just taking those photos. And anyway, the idea of this whole game is how to recreate the light from start. So, you know, I have a nice cloud there. It's fine. I have one nice cloud. Uh, you know, I'm going to add a bit of clarity. I usually don't do that when there's a lot of clouds, but there is not much clouds. I'm not going to touch vibrance and saturation. I'm going to make it a little brighter. 
so it's a very basic retouching. You see, uh, the subject I find is amazing. This is Saint Paul de Vence, one of the nicest sorts of Pro uh, Provence uh, village. You know, uh, I like the view because you have a view over the mountains. You have the view on this beautiful, you know, little house. It's probably like you know, 50 to 100 years old. You have a very nice lamp, but the light is boring, boring, boring. So let's do something about it. Uh, first, here you have to click here on the workflow. In the workflow, I'm going to click open in Photoshop as a smart object. So I'm opening this up as a smart object, meaning whatever I did here, I can go back to it. I'm going to click here on open object. So now here I am in Photoshop and I have this object uh, open. Now, what I usually do is when I want to change the sky, I always have my library open here and I take one of my sky and I drag and drop it over the photo. But you may be saying, how did he get the sky there? Well, I'm going to show you. So first I'm going to press escape to undo that. Uh, the library only works if you are a Creative Cloud member, and I believe a lot of people watching are Creative Cloud. And I'll show you how to import it if you're not a Creative Cloud member. Anyways, the idea here is you go to Windows and you make sure Library is open, which is here. You see, that's my library. And uh, I'm going to create, uh, you see, I have a whole bunch of library here. So yours is probably empty if you've never used it. So you can just go here and create a new library. And I'm going to call it Sky. Provence, for example, create. So now you see it says drag and drop assets. It's completely empty. So I'm going to go back to bridge. And remember, I gave you three skies here. So you can select all three skies and you can go to tools, Photoshop, um, load files into Photoshop layers. It's just a little shortcut that's going to load Photoshop with these three files. Okay, so that's the three files. I'm giving you this. You can use them as much as you want. You can use it in your own creation. This is just my gift to you. So now I got three files, each on its own layer. All you can do is take the move tool that's here. You can click and drag it on this uh, library that we created. And it's there now. I can take this and put it in the trash. Take the next one, drag and drop it. And it's going to be there forever. And I can put it in the trash. And, uh, and this one, which is here, I can drag and drop it. Same thing. And now these skies will be ready to be used with all your photo forever. You will have them always at your figure prints. So I can even close this file. It doesn't matter. Don't save. It's going to be there. You see, now I'm back in my photo and I've got the skies there. Now, if you're not a Creative Cloud member and you don't know how to do that, you can simply, so I can simply go here. I'm oh, sorry, go back to bridge, double click on the sky. Okay. Make sure that you're in tab mode. Uh, Oh, I opened up all three skies again. That's fine. I'm going to take this this guy here. Make sure you're in tab mode. If you're not in tab mode, you can go to workspace, uh, sorry, arrange, consolidate all two tabs. Okay, then you just click on the sky and you drag and drop it over your image. Uh, the only problem with that is that it's not a smart object anymore. And I like it to be a smart object. So I'm going to, but it's still, it, the whole thing still works. I prefer to use, do like this, to drag and drop it there. And now I have it as a smart object. I can press enter and I'm going to press Z and option alt to zoom out. Okay. And so I want this guy, I'm going to press command T or go to edit free transform. And I want this guy to be, you see this whole part here. That's kind of where the sun is. I want it to be uh, here maybe. Maybe I'm going to invert it. I'm going to flip horizontal so that we have a lot of this nice sky here. That could be cool. Yeah, I'm going to put it right in the horizon. I'm going to make sure that it's big enough to fill in the whole photo. Okay, now I'm going to press enter. So I've got one smart object there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and I'm going to duplicate by drag and dropping on this icon. I'm I duplicate it. So now I've got two copies of that sky. Okay, I'm going to go back here to edit. Uh, free transform and now watch for it right click flip vertical hold the shift key on your keyboard and drag this it's going to make sure that the sky drags and align it completely there so now we have a mirrored sky it's completely mirrored okay now there's two layers which is here i'm going to right click i'm going to select them all with shift right click and i'm going to click on merge layer now they are just one layer and now comes the magic. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put it in multiplying mode. In multiplying mode, it totally blends in the photo 
and uh, and and the blending is just perfect like you can zoom in here over the trees and the sky is completely there oh here is a bird that was on sky uh the only issue with the multiply mode uh is that uh you see we see some of the skies here on the buildings uh and that's not good you, you don't want that so how can we do something about that um that's pretty uh easy you just go here and you take the lasso tool and you make a very rough selection of your building wherever there is an issue so i make just a very rough selection here and i'm going to all around here like this so i'm making a very rough uh, this is selected now and you see we can see some of the, of the clouds the blending mode multiply puts the, the the you know the clouds over the building and you can see some of it i'm going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and i'm going to gaussian a lot i'm going to go 1000 maybe not 1000 it's a little much like 640 a very big number i'm going to click let me see you see preview before we can see the shape of the skies and the shape of, of the clouds uh and uh after we don't see it anymore you see it's pretty cool so uh i'm going to click on okay so you get a much more realistic uh result and all that did was to basically i'm going to press command d to undo my selection i'm going to put this in normal mode so you see what it looks like you see we have the sky here that we're using as a texture and everything else we're just using the color so it makes the whole photo darker and it just makes the color now matches the sky which is pretty cool but the magic doesn't stop there because we need to uh we need to do something remember i told you that i i, I used it as a as a raw file because i, I want to do something more so i'm going to double click here um actually no i'm not going to do that now uh let me see i think i'm going to double click here on on the smart object and maybe uh you see it's kind of hard to tell now because we don't see the sky but i'm going to add a bit of contrast uh on the whole thing and maybe a little more clarity and i'm going to press ok ok and uh yeah that looks kind of cool it looks kind of cool, but you see it's, it, the whole photo is very dark. It needs to be relighted now. So what I'm going to do now is going to, I'm going to create a new image, taking into account what we did so far. That's going to include the smart object and it's going to include the sky. So for this, you need your full hand. You press Command, Alt, Shift, E. Command, Alt, Shift, E. I have no idea why such a useful shortcut is so complex but that's what it is command alt shift e okay there we are so now we've got a combined version of of these two layers and um i'm ready to do some magic so first of all uh, i want to correct this uh this issue here uh this is kind of crooked so i'm going to go here to filter i'm going to go to adaptive wide angle and uh i just want to make this straight so in uh, i'm going to click here and I'm going to try to follow this wall here. Uh, you can do it in two times. And I said, I want this to be straight. This is not straight. I want this to be straight. So I'm going to hold on the shift key and that becomes pink. And now when I let it go, it just makes this whole thing straight. Okay. I want uh, this wall to be straight. So hold on, the, hold on the shift key every time. I want, uh, this was this kind of crooked. I mean, this is a very old building. So um, yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe this wall, yeah, I want this wall to be straight. Maybe it was not straight in real life, but... So all you do is you click and you hold on the shift key. So now it's a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to press OK. And you know, it's anyway very dark. You don't see that much, but I just wanted this to be straight. Just a little thanks you. Command Z before and after. Uh, it kind of zoomed in a bit, but this is kind of more straight. Anyways, you know, it's a very old building, so I don't think anybody's going to notice. But I wanted at least this wall to be straight. So, okay, here I am. Now we are ready to do the magic. I want to relight the photo. So the first trick was to change the sky, and the second trick is to relight the photo. And we're going to do this in, in camera row in two paths. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to camera row filter. And, um, and I'm going to zoom in on the lamp here. You see there is a lamp here. There is a lamp. And I want to relight this lamp. So I'm going to go here in the red roll circle. I'm going to make a little red roll circle right there. And I'm going to boost the light, add a bit of yellow. Okay. And um, make sure your feather is at 100%. And make sure that inside is 
like this. And sometimes you have to do it twice. You can duplicate this so it becomes really powerful. And I'm actually going to duplicate one more time because uh, I want to make it big because, of course, the light is going to graduate everywhere. But now that's way too strong, so I'm going to lower it. I just want to make the light to graduate. So let's go back here, fit into view. Okay, and if you want to see how it looks like, this kind of like guideline is kind of you know hard to see. You can click here on overlay to see the before and after, before and after. Yeah, I think this circle needs to be bigger. Uh, this slide needs has is influencing this whole space here and should be stronger, something like this. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna right click duplicate, and I'm gonna put this very small here. Because you see that light is, let me show you, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to zoom in like 300%. You see that light is reflected here. So I'm going to make this very small and very powerful. And same thing, right click, actually 200%, 300% is too much. So I'm going to go to 200%, right click, duplicate, and uh, have this over the door so that's kind of cool fit into view to make sure it looks realistic overlay yeah that's kind of cool that's kind of cool and uh yeah so that's the two lamps that we have here i think this one's a little too strong so you can just go uh back on this one i can reselect it and i can lower the second one yeah i'm going to take overlay off yeah that's kind of more cool um and i'll show you a little trick you can even add like you can I can make that there is some kind of lamp here. Uh, so I can go back to overlay so I see what I'm doing. I can right click duplicate and I'm going to put one here. And that's kind of big. Uh, but you see, I don't want it to spill here. So what you can do is this is a red real circle. You can go here to brush. And by default, it's on a minus brush, meaning I can brush out uh, uh, the, the, the power of that circle. So I'm make sure that auto mask is on. And I'm just going to brush this over and it's going to take out the circle. The circle is only influencing here. Let me show you. Voila. You see now we have just a little bit of light there, just like if somebody had turned on their light inside their house. Voila. And uh, I like that. And now to relight the whole thing even more, I'm going to go here on brush. And when you are in the brush mode, if I click here, for example, plus on exposure, it brings everything down to zero except the exposure. Just want to add a bit of exposure, make sure feather is at 100, flow and density is around 80. And I'm just going to brush here. I just want to put a bit more light here and a bit more light here. You know, and I like to do it with a brush kind of fast, maybe a little bit spill of lights here and there, uh, just to make the photo more interesting, you know, uh, maybe here a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think I want to put some more light in the valley. Uh, so just that it's not so dark and so intense. And uh, I can click here on the end and I'm basically done. And I can even do a double development because this was a raw file originally. So I can like open up the shadows even more, bring a bit down the highlights. I'm gonna, I can do the whites and the blacks again. Just go very gently when you do a double development. You know, add a bit of contrast. And now we have a very dramatic photo with a complete new sky, complete new light. And I can click on OK. So voila. So now the name of the game is now you know how to do this and you can you know see this video over and over and over again if you want. Uh, you can uh, do this at home. You can do this with this photo or you can do this with this photo. Let me show you. I, I'm giving you uh, this photo so you can practice. It's a different view. This one has a bit of, of clouds there. Uh, that's one of them. Another photo I'm giving you is uh, this one. And uh, so that's another view with you have some flower on the left and stuff. And so the idea is I want you to try to change the sky I, uh, and you can use any of this sky or you can even use your own sky. You don't have to use my sky. I'm giving you three different type of sky. One that's very red, one that's very light, sort of blue and yellow. And that's one that's the other one is kind of like, um, you know, yellow and blue. So I'm giving you three type of skies. I'm giving you two photos. The combination are endless. All you have to do then is uh, you go on um, Instagram, and if you don't have an Instagram account, please create one as a photographer you need to have. And what all you need to do is you need to tag me, because by tagging me, so uh, that means like in the description, you see, I'll show you for example on this photo, in the description of your photo, it needs to say 
at photo search, you see I show you here, uh, it needs to say follow at photo search to see if my photo wins. You have to type this in the description of your photo. Follow photo search to see if my photo wins. This way people are gonna follow me, they're gonna see if your photo win or not, and I will be able to see it. And in exactly about seven days to 10 days from the day this video is published, which is probably gonna be around the 16th and 17th of June, I will, so it's gonna be around 23, 24 of June, I will pick a winner and I will put the winner all over uh, my newsletters, my social media. I mean, possibly you could reach, you know, two, 300,000 people. So, you know, it's, and I will put the website and your link. So, you know, just play around with it. And, uh, you know, I show you again the final result. I, th I think it's pretty cool. You know, uh, remember we came from, uh, from this, this two photo. This is something I like to do when, you know, when I come to a special place and, and the special place has got a boring light, you know, you travel, you spend a lot of money coming to a place and, you know, you, t you have this amazing subject, but the light is boring. Well, that's one way of, you know, putting the light. I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with. You know, play around with this guy. You can use this guy. Even, you know, you cannot resell this guy, but you can use them in your own thing, even if, you, if it's something that you sell. Uh, I, but I ask you not to sell these photos. This is just for your training. This guy, you can do whatever you want with it, but not uh, the, the photos from the, Pro, uh, the Provence. They are just, you can use them on social media, but you cannot sell them to clients. Voila, mesdames et messieurs. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It's so fun to do, and I cannot wait to see on Instagram what you come up with. All right, mesdames et messieurs. I hope you like this. If you do like it, please click the like button. Do not forget to click the subscribe button. I hope you get the source files. I hope you play around. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Mesdames et messieurs, let's see who wins.